All right, welcome back to Voxel Gaming, and we will record a little bit more. Um, I did get these transport belts made, so let me show you how to work. Well, dead easy, really. I know it's dark, but uh, lights will be coming soon. So again, R to rotate, and uh, there we go. Now we've got a transport belt. The coal is being transported along the belt, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, when I first started, it looked so complicated, and then I started doing it, and I was like, is that it? That That's it? That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I think I'd like to bring the coal up, maybe earlier, so that the steam engines, we're going to have a lot of them, like, in this area. So instead, oops, I'm just going to break it there. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay, never mind, I'll do it here. Uh, right click, by the way, to uh, dismantle stuff. And if you did not see what I did at the start of uh, last episode, you can make yourself an iron pick, an iron axe. And that will make it so that you can pick things up slower and mine things at a reasonable, sp reasonable speed. Okay, let's go up here and then we'll go sideways here. Not sure if I have enough belts. I do. Okay. Okay, so the way these work is you put a belt kind of next to them, one tile off, like that. And then you make these inserters. And I usually put them on shift one here, lock them in. And make sure you point them the right way so the, the vertical line, or horizontal, depending how you point it, is where they pick stuff up from. There you go. Now I usually use the normal inserters, you can use the burner inserters, the burner inserters use coal themselves, so what they will do is they will pick up some coal for themselves and then the next coal they will put in the burner, in the uh, in the boiler, but I like the electric ones, nice and simple, now we just have to get them power, boom, there's no power because there's no coal in these, just jump started, boom, there we go, and there you go, simple as that, we are now pushing getting the coal to the steam engines and uh, well, we didn't have power so it stopped but there you can you can see the coal coming now when you're making these belts it's a bit weird but when coal comes off the line it actually drops one tile further than your last belt so see how this is my last belt the coal will end up in this tile it's not going to look like it but it will so this can still reach it Perfect. So you can see that this does now not have coal. So this inserter will say, hey, coal. Nyom. Nyom. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, such a simple thing. I don't know why no game has ever done it before like this. At least not that simple. It's beautiful. It's really, really cool. Okay, so we need a little bit more wood. And I started off in a desert. That's a bit of a pain. Although, let me tell you, forests are your worst nightmare. It takes forever to get through them. So I think the next thing with that we will research... Normally I don't do this, but uh, specifically for you guys, I will do it this time. Uh, we press T to open up the thing, and then we go for optics. And then we make 10 science packs. The reason I'm doing that is because at night it gets incredibly dark in this game. And as a viewer, I know that's incredibly frustrating because YouTube makes a video dark as well, which is why I need to play Minecraft, for example, at the highest brightness. Okay, so there we go. The coal started to stack up. That's that's fine. There's no downside to that. Stuff you in there. And when we click on one of these poles, we get the electric network info screen whilst I uh, take a sip. Ah, nice. We can see at the moment we are consuming 241 kilowatts and we are only producing what well, the exact same amount but you can see that our total production capacity is a lot higher than that so we're not using our steam engines to full capacity very nice and that's the consumption of the last five seconds and 50 hours average and blah 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 nice <sighs> statistics lots of statistics in this game okay so let's have a quick look now I want to pick up some of this coal, so all I do is hold F and just run over it, and I will, I will pick it up into my inventory. 
you don't have coal. Give you some. Give you some. Give you some. You can have some. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. So the next step is planning out our main general smelting factory. Now we already said that, let's look at the map, this is going to be our electricity network. So steam engines and that sort of stuff. Now these are all oil derricks, uh, oil patches, so that will be our oil processing area. And I think I'm going to explore a little bit in this southern area. Now ideally I don't want to go too far away from my home, but at the same time I feel like I'm kind of being forced to, because of this water. So let's have a let's have a look. And ideally, I don't want to build over resources because then, of course, you're wasting them. Unless they're stone, that's fine. <laughs> Is that a forest? No. Okay. Well, this area looks fairly large without any nests. Very lucky. You can see on the map; it'll be red, bright red. There's a nest. Very, very lucky. It's a copper deposit. But no nest. Okay then. I was going to go up a little bit more till we see sort of on this line here. Nothing. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Quite lucky here. Sometimes you start in a crappy area and it's just... You almost just have to start over again. Okay, so this is why we want lights. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Lights research. Okay, make 40 lamps. It's a it's a complete resource waste, but uh, it's just impossible to, uh, to watch. Okay, so these belts, if you walk in the same direction as they are going and you're sitting on top of it, well, first of all, if you don't do anything, you just go with the flow. But if you walk, you actually speed up just a tiny bit. It's nice. It's quite nice. Anyways, uh, let's start by making 10 furnaces after we finish our lights. I will make those locked in at number three. Bam! There we go. How's that, huh? Oh, that's better. Okay. Actually, I'm going to be... I don't generally do this, but... For the video, I'll just make it a bit extra light everywhere. If I had more poles. Okay, so I'm going to cancel these. Probably not necessary for now. I've got quite a few. But let's make these furnaces and let's start laying out our new smelting factory. I'm going to build over this. I don't care about this stone because there's some here, there's some there. There's quite a bit of stone this here as well. Okay, so there's a lot of different layouts you can use. Um, I I don't think one is necessarily better than the other. Everyone has their own opinion. Uh, we're talking like less than 1% efficiency changes. So do whatever you like, really. That's my advice. Um, I still like to do it this way. So this is going to be a furnace, and this is going to be where our iron is coming from. Sorry, our coal is coming into. This line will be for our iron ore. And then we should make some inserters. Just make all 15 of them. Why not? And the way it will work is we're going to have another belt here. Oops. And the inserters are going to pick it up from this belt here, and then deposit the end product onto this line here. And because we're going to have to pick up from this line as well, it's one tile too far. That's why we can make these long-handed inserters. And they will pick up from one tile further. Which means that this furnace will get the, uh, the coal from this line and the iron ore from this line. And everyone will be happy. Hang on, let me just lock that in. Nice. So now it just needs power. Now, and uh, well, you know, usually I make about... Uh, I think about eight at start. For that. Whoops. 
Yeah, just like that. But, you know, do whatever you want, really. Cool. I'm going to have to pick up some more iron ore. And then we're going to get rid of these mines and mine this patch instead. Because it's a lot closer to this. Because uh, belt is quite expensive. So again, I press F. It's picking up all this coal. It's quite nice. And I have to make some electricity poles, which I can't because I don't have copper. Fair enough. Okay. Nice. 600 iron plates. That will just do. I guess copper is actually the bottleneck now. It's interesting. Okay, so we need a. Uh, I'll say about 20 more of those. You're going to be making inserters a lot, so we're going to automate that immediately. Bring over the power. Actually, uh, I don't like this layout. Uh, I generally like to make it. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Whatever. It's it's neat. It's neat. Okay, who cares about efficiency, right? Uh, so this side will be, oops, the other way around. Picking out from these furnaces and off of the belts, like that. And we just have to make two stacks of that. Two mini stacks. Oops, and I did not set these up. There we go. Now again, you can see that this belt is one tile too long they always drop off the end of the belt same here there we go beautiful so they've got power they just don't have any coal and iron coming down the line nice very very nice so let's make some mines shall we let's make two iron now four uh, Eh, whatever, like four mines, who cares? Whatever. Whatever. These electric miners, they're they're really nice, I like them. Pretty much stuck with them for the rest of the game as well. Um put you there. I know it's not equal anymore, but that's fine. Uh that's a bit painful. I don't want to mine this out completely, but I'll be missing one spot, so... <sighs> Oops. Well, I'm probably going to put another mine here down the track, but whatever. Wow, that's... <laughs> Even I can't stand for that. Alright. So, we need the iron ore to go... Okay. So our next step on the process, we can now, why can we not make, oh, did I really not do that? Did I not finish that research? Did I really not finish the logistics research? Did I mess that up? Weird. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here, and I'm just going to do the signs in, in the uh, off-camera, because it's going to take about 10 minutes. I don't want to sit around 10 minutes doing nothing. I can, I guess, set this up, but this is not as much fun. So um, I will be back next episode, and we shall finish up the automated smelting, and then we shall also finish up nice uh, the automatic production of signs, so we don't have to feed this stupid thing anymore beautiful so thanks for watching and i will see you next time